We have just egg right here, but this egg didn't come from a chicken. It came from a mung bean. And then we have some chorizo made from chicken, except we didn't have to kill a chicken to make this chorizo. So we actually take cells from an actual chicken and we make them think that they're inside the chicken growing. Without causing death, we can create actual meat. So we're gonna get started on this omelet here. Is that real butter? Or this do this have is anything real butter. Real? Again, this is from a bean. It's from a bean? Some of the uh, just chicken chorizo. There we have it. Jump in. Have a mung bean just egg with cultured chicken chorizo. <laughs> You kind of just dissolve in your mouth. Mm -hmm. I ain't get a chance to chew it. Does it taste like an egg? It's, it's close. It's close? It's close. So here we have uh, this special salt. It's that called look. Kalam Namak salt. So it's a sulfur salt. That's one of the main flavor components in egg. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, salt bay don't try to take that one. <laughs> Chains bay. <laughs> right now, we're really working to get the cost down to where we can be on par with the conventional that's out there. You ready for some fried chicken? <laughs> I guess so. And I'll go grab it. Boy, they're cloning some chicken in there. All right, and here we have our just chicken bites. This is cultured chicken from the lab, fried up with one of our dressings made from the yellow pea. That's our Chipotle ranch. None of it real. I mean, it's real. Yeah. Mm hmm You guys are real geniuses, right? Uh, there's a lot of smart people. Josh is going to come in and uh, try these. Two wings. Josh, Josh. You Josh. Josh. <laughs> I'm the I'm the CEO and founder of Just. You need to taste your chicken. But I want you to understand, this chicken is not dead. What you mean, man? So the chicken that you're about to eat is not dead. Because why do you have to kill it? So where did you get this fancy idea from? I grew up in Alabama. I think you grew what up in Birmingham. You got the Galleria Mall in Birmingham. The, you know the Galleria Mall? I used to eat at Chick-fil-A in the Galleria Mall. My family was pretty poor growing Eating up. Eating Chick-fil-A, you was poor. Once Black a week. and white poor is two what, different what? things. All right, go ahead, though. So I, we, I see, man. You went through a lot. It, it is hard for regular people to eat good food. So I started to think, all right, we're going to use food to try to make meaningful change in the we'll world. Change the world. We've raised about a quarter of a billion dollars along the way. Wow. Are we talking the most expensive is? Everyone from Jerry Yang, Mark Benioff, the wealthiest person in Asia, Lee Kai-shing, Heineken founding, early investors in Facebook, investors in this chicken. I mean, how does that how does that make you feel? It makes me feel like I want you to like that chicken, most of all. You mind if I eat it along with you? Go ahead. Okay. You know, capitalism can be used a lot to do a lot of bad things, right? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> if you approach it in the right way, it can be used to help. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm good, I'm good. Yeah. Can be used to help people eat better all around the world. Wow. What's the cost of some of this stuff? The mayo right here is $3.49. Okay. Now, the meat that doesn't require killing a chicken is a little bit more expensive. You tax them for that. It's in the hundreds or thousands of dollars right now. For what? For the chicken. Oh, why does it cost so much money? Yeah. So it's a pretty complex process. Yeah. We're in early stages. We're just making a little bit of it. Eventually, we want to get it below the cost of chicken. I love it. That's it. I love it. Most expensive is future. One day you're gonna be eating air. And you're gonna love it from a plant, and everybody's gonna be full. Two chains. Thank you, man. Appreciate Thanks. it. Thanks for everything.